What's up everyone, this is CyberNight8610, and today we have another episode of Please Print, where we talk about cards from the manga or anime that we think need actually be printed into real cards that we can use in the card game. Uh, today I want to talk about a card that is for one of my favorite archetypes out there, and one that I'm really hoping will get more support, come on, and that is Tombs. Uh, Toons, I think, really do deserve some support. I remember using them back in the day when the Pegasus starter deck came out. And first off, I mean, you got the Toon Blue Eyes. So you thought you were the best thing ever. And yeah, I mean, just the Toon Monsters have always been so cool. They're just so funny looking. They're, they're kind of trollish cards even, but they're really awesome too. I always liked the effects of them, how you had to give up some your life points, but they could direct attack. So, you know, and there's been actually quite a lot of different Toon Monsters made. I, I would also really like to see the Toon at Ancient Gear Golem, like it was in the GX anime. But today, we're going to be talking about a special card that I think really could help out Toons, and that is Toon Kingdom. This card, of course, is basically another Toon World for them. It's a continuous spell card, and I'm going to read off its effect for you guys, of course. When you activate this card, remove from play the top five cards of your deck. This face-up card's name is treated as Toon World. If a Toon monster you control would be destroyed by battle, you can remove from play the top card of your deck instead. So yeah, this helps out with another weakness for Toons. Uh, Toons, you know, they only had three Toon Worlds, and uh, although they had Toon Table of Contents to help you search for your cards like that, uh, it would still be way more helpful to have more versions of Toon World. Like I said, this becomes one, so it would really help out the deck a lot. Especially since we have Heavy Storm, you know, three Mystical Space Typhoons and all that. Yeah, that would really come in, because that's the big weakness of this archetype, is having to have that card in the field, a continuous spell, which can be destroyed fairly easy, especially in this meta, right? So yeah. Uh, also, this card will protect all your Toon monsters. Most of the time, they're pretty hard to destroy, except for that one weakness of Toon World. Uh, but this can add some extra protection for them, which is pretty awesome. So yeah, what do you guys think about Toon Monsters in general? What do you guys think about this card? Do you think they would change its effect as well, you know, if they actually printed it? I really don't think it really needs much of a change in effect. I mean, I don't really think it's overpowered, so I don't really see it being nerfed. If anything, maybe give it a boost or something, you know? Uh, like, I would really like to see also another card that could uh, be treated as a Toon World. Maybe like a trap card or something you could easily flip up and it, you know, be a Toon World as well. But I want to know what you guys think, you know, what does this archetype need? And also, maybe it's not too uh, out of the question for this archetype to get some new cards for it. I mean, think about it. Ojama's got, you know, some new cards way later on, you know, Raging Battle, they were out in Invasion of Chaos. A lot of people think they came out in GX, they were out in Invasion of Chaos. And then uh, Raging Battle, they got support. You know, Gravekeepers got support later. Amazonis, you know, and Amazonis is kind of, you know, not really a well-known archetype either. So maybe Toons can get that support, come on, let's really hope so. So yeah, I want to know what you guys think about this. Thanks for watching, and tell me, what other cards from the manga or anime do you guys think need to be printed? Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys later. See ya.